to you to give to Diyamaka when you were returning for Easter break? And who wrote the letter you came back and gave to me? See, Auntie, do not lie to me. Please, don't deny this. Don't lie to me. If you look at me very well, you see that I am not coordinated. You make me do something that you will regret. Don't lie to me. I don't know what you're talking about. In fact, I don't understand. What do you mean? Tell me. My love, my coming over to the States is for our own good. At the end of my five years stay here, I am coming back for us to be officially married as man and wife. My father, the king, has given his word that once I am back from the States, I will be getting married. I know you miss me a lot. I miss you so much too, my love. I gave my aunt an Android phone for you. Get a SIM and call me with the number below so we can always communicate. Okay? I love you so much, Diddy. And I just cannot wait to be in your arms again. I thought you said you have a letter for someone in Nigeria. Eh, uh, yes. I'm done. Just hold on. And this phone is also for her. For her eyes as well. So where do I locate this Ndidi, my love? <laughs> Just give it to any of the maids or guards in the palace. They know her and they know where to find her. Okay then. <laughs> I'll be going now. Alright, I'll miss you. I'll miss you too, my boy. But you know I'll be back in two weeks time. You said so. It's okay. Right, Just take care place. of yourself. Okay. okay. You have a safe flight. Thanks. Okay. Fat, oh. Like this? Yes, look at you. I don't know. You I'm have eating. to watch it. You have to watch I'll it. I'll try. <laughs> You're looking yeah. bad at all. Mm. Yes, this way. Yes, yours is very good on you. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. oh. okay, this one you came, how long are you staying? Two weeks. Only? Yes, only. And I am going straight to spend it with Mama. Not yeah. too fast. You're spending one week with us and one other week with Mama. Is that okay? By you? Mm. Okay then. That's a deal. Mm. No problem. <gasps> no, no, no. Hope you got me something nice. Oh, no, no. This is not for you. Your son said I should send them to his girlfriend. 
So give it to me. No, don't worry. Don't worry. I will find somebody to send it across to her. Eh. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank God. It's even better this way. Mm. Yeah. Let me go and rest now. Okay. No problem. Mm. his mother. We didn't remember to buy something for that stupid girl. Oh my little. So you hate me this much? Eh? did it my love. Hey! Well, I am finished. What is this in this stupid lousy girl? Okay. No problem. <laughs> you receive a letter indeed. Good day, Your Majesty. Good day. Take this letter to Ndidi. You remember her? Yes, ma'am. The girl that used to come here with her sister to see my son. Tell her Omalicha sent this letter to her. And he extended his greetings as well. Okay, Your Majesty. Thank you. Destiny can be delayed, but never be denied. Oh no, destiny can be subjected. To all manners of trials, yeah. But at the nick of time, destiny will triumph. Will triumph. House. Is anyone in? It is destiny. House. On you. Good day, ma. Good day. Good day. I hope we are safe. Yes, you're safe. Ma, I brought a letter from the prince. From the US to your daughter. You can give me a better one. But you're not gonna change my mind. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I have to go. Okay, bye bye. Oh. Thank you. But I have to read this letter. You don't have to. <laughs> Go and read it. Oh? Thank God. Thank God. He remembers you. Hey! I'm not gonna be like you. And you're not gonna be like me. <clears throat> My love, there is no need wasting your time. I wrote this letter to inform you that I have... I, I have found another woman. The, the one I love so much. The one that that has better qualities than you. I... I will... I will be getting married to her as soon... as soon as I return to Nigeria. But I want you to... to move on with your life as... as I have moved on with... with mine. No, 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 no,
You guys are just a baby. You guys are. You guys. <laughs> Mama, 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 please don't do this to me, don't do this to me, mama, 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 I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, please don't do this to me, don't do this to me, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. You're due for delivery. for you. You know what? I need to see. I need you to go home. Tell any of your kings not to see me, okay? So please, nobody's a child here. Whatever it is you have to say, just say it, please. Please don't let me see her. Please don't see her. She's fine. Just go home. Tell any of your kings not to see me, okay? Um, okay. Can we at least just see her, even if it's for a minute? No, 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 She's still at the intensive care unit. You know what? I need to see a man, not you too, okay? Okay. Sister, this guy until I'm to come check to come and see him. Fine. Yeah, that would be good. Let's tell him to see me. Let's go. What did they say about our mother? What did, what did the doctor say? There is nothing to hide. What, what did he say? Your mother is dead. I will never forgive him. Oh. Stop crying. Stop crying. <sighs> At least be comforted with what God has given to you. <laughs> the baby boy. <laughs> it's true we lost mama. <laughs> but there's an addition to the baby boy. Who will he call father? Who? 
His father has rejected him. How do we survive? Mama is no more. Who will take care of him? There is a God in heaven. There is a God in heaven that will help us. That we know. It's true, we don't have anybody that will help us. Our kinsmen hate us with passion. They want us dead. So that they will inherit all our late father left for us. There is no work for them. God will answer us. Amam Chuku. Amam Chuku. Excuse me, ma'am. Please keep going and attend to your baby. He's crying. Dear Prince Omalicha, I received your letter in good faith. Thank you for using and dumping me. You were the first and only man in my life who also saw my nakedness. I gave myself to you because of the love I have for you. Now you have broken my heart. All I want is to tell you this. My mother died after reading your letter. I almost died too due to false labor. Thank God I didn't die. I am now a mother of a son whose father has rejected. God will judge you. What are you doing here? How many times have I warned you to stop coming into this palace? Yet you will not listen. I have sent my son abroad all because of you. Yet you will let him be. I have found him a better wife. Won't you go to your poverty stricken home and die? I have not come to see him. I know he's not around. I... I brought this letter. I know you can find a way to get it to him. Get away! Go away! They really miss you. Your mother gave me some African food to oh. prepare for you. Nice, nice. I've missed it so much. <laughs> it's okay. I'll be in my room now. Uh, Auntie, wait, wait. The, the letter I gave to you, were you able to get it across to me? Oh, yes, I did. She even gave me another one for you. Your lover girl replied your letter. <laughs> Sorry, I almost forgot. Hey, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. Uh, let me, uh, I'm in my room. Okay. Dear Prince Omalicha, 
I received your letter in good faith. Thank you for using and dumping me. You were the first and only man in my life who also saw my nakedness. I gave myself to you because of the love I have for you. Now you have broken my heart. All I want is to tell you this. My mother died after reading your letter. I almost died too due to false labor. Thank God I didn't die. I am now a mother of a son whose father has rejected. God will judge you. If anything should go wrong, then hold your mother responsible for it. She was the one that delivered the letter you gave to me, and she was the one that gave me the letter I brought to you. Yes. I need you to help me ask mother what happened to the letter I sent down here five years ago to be given to my love and Didi. And then ask her what happened to the letter and Didi sent to be given to me through her, same five years ago. Ask her. I don't understand, son. With due respect, father, you are not supposed to understand. But she does. Ask her. What happened to the letters? Your Highness, don't mind this boy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Excuse me. He shouldn't mind me. Yes. Because what you should be concentrating on is your marriage with Annabelle. This that your shameful display you, you carried out the other day, how do we salvage it? You want us to waste our precious time talking about your five years old nonsense? Stop. Please stop. Well, that nonsense is what matters to me right now. Really? Yes, really. And I found a, a, a wonderful girl I wanted to marry and then I introduced her to you. What did you do? You made sure you, you, you just messed up that relationship. Now, after five years, after five whole years, luck, faith has smiled on us again. Let me tell you this, no matter what you do, a thousand of you cannot stop me from getting married to that girl. Malisha, you cannot, read my lips, bring that girl into this palace. Because your marriage deserves a royal blessing. Once any of us disapproves of your union with anybody, that union cannot hold. That is what royalty entails. Let me shock you. See that your royalty, or gonna walk with today because I don't care about it. Ndiyamaka, my love, means more to me than your royalty. Excuse me, father. Tell me, why did you disapprove of his union with the said girl? I know her family. I don't like her family. What yes. is it about the family that you don't like?
Good afternoon, Amalita. Good day, ma. Good afternoon. Who is it? Excuse me. I'll call you when I need you. Who is the young girl with you? <clears throat> okay. Mom, you and Dad asked me to search the hidden places of this kingdom to find myself a beautiful girl I'm going to marry. I came to show you the result of that search. Wow. This is the girl I want to make my wife. Young lady, what's your name? My name is Ndidima. Who's your father? My, my father is late, but my mother is um, Teresa Oko from Umudim Kingdom. She was married to the late Ebenezer Obey of um, Umuakum Kindred. Theresa, the daughter of the famous Pawantaba? Yes, Your Majesty. She's your mother? Yes, she is. The prince must choose a bride from this kingdom, so he must choose one of the maidens of this kingdom. I am worried. He should have chosen the wife before now. It is two months the solemn uh, declaration was made that the prince, the next king of this kingdom, is to choose a wife, but he hasn't. Eh? And that all our maidens have been appearing in their best. <laughs> Let him not go elsewhere and pick a wife. Oh, that is my own. That is no. my own. No, he can't. It is the tradition. He must choose a bride from this kingdom. Hello. Uh, excuse me, young girl. Me? Me? You. Me? me? Oh, I'm coming. Greetings, my prince. Greetings, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, what's your name? My name is Juliana. Oh, Juliana. What a beautiful name for a beautiful girl like you. Um, Juliana, I was actually calling your friend. Not really you, but you've got courage. I love that. Oh. You're so beautiful. Thank you so much, my prince. Um, without wasting much time, I would want to see you at the palace tomorrow to see my father. The king. Palace? Hey! Prince, I will come. I would not fail. I will come tomorrow. Tomorrow I will be in the palace. Okay then. See you at the palace tomorrow. Okay. Thank you so much, my prince. Thank You're you. Welcome. Juliana, what was that for? What? The prince was calling me. I ran to answer him when he knew I was the one he called. Okay, see me. Hey, see this one, oh. So for your mind, he called you? Yes, I was the one he called. Listen. So, in your mind, you thought that you have business in the palace. My dear, let me tell you. Hmm? There are some people created for royalty. People like us, take a good look at me. There are some people that fit the crown. People that the royalty look good on. You mean royalty won't look good on me? Not at all. Even your fifth generations, your children's children, none of you have business in the palace. Eh? So you are not God who decides people's <laughs> fate. The ones that are good for the kings and the ones that are good for the commoners. <laughs> My dear Teresa, you know I speak the truth. And for your information, the prince asked me to come to the palace tomorrow to see the father. It's a word, no problem. I wish you good luck. Thank you. Ah, ah. Teresa! 
But I'm not gonna change my mind She's my destiny She's my destiny oh. You know how mother you. You're not gonna be like me. Your mother doesn't like me. So don't conclude yet. Are you sure everything is alright? Everything is fine. It's alright, it's alright. It's okay. Uh let me speak to her. I'll show you where you can wait for me. Okay? It's, it's let me talk. It's okay. It's okay. I'm her destiny We are destined to be together as one We have a problem with What a world So after how many years Realty still seeks her? No No My friend Teresa will mock me because I told her that her and her generation has no business doing in the palace. Therefore, this marriage will not hold. Never. Not when I'm still alive. You are not saying anything. What is it about the family of the said girl that you don't like? My king, let's not go into that right now. But the bottom line is that my son is not going to marry that girl. You are not making any sense here. Is there something you feel I should know about the girl's family that makes you want to disapprove of our son getting married to her? Tell me now. Else, why would you stand against someone who God did not stand against? It's now clear to me that my trip to America was a plan between you and my mother. A plan to wreck my relationship with Ndidi, right? Believe me, I am not part of this plan. So how am I supposed to know? So tell me, how am I supposed to know? Why, why does my mother hate that girl so much? Why? How do you know? Of course I know. From the very first day my mother set my eyes on her, she, she, she didn't hide it. Mother, what was that for? I mean, that was rude. You've not even met this girl before. You're just seeing her for the first time. Mom, even if you have issues with her mother, that wasn't the best way to show it. Come on now. We will not marry that girl. I will get you a better one. And why won't I marry her?
sounded like a joke, but she meant it and she did it. For reasons best known to her. I don't I mean I don't know why. I mean, why does my mother hate that innocent girl so much? Why? I don't understand. Why? I want you to know this, Auntie. No matter what it takes, I am going to make that girl my wife. It's either in Yamaka or no one else. Go tell your sister that. Why all this? Why? The queen? Yes. She hates me. Immediately I told her that I was your daughter. Her counting has changed. She doesn't like me at all. Stop crying. Wipe your tears. I will tell you a story. I was supposed to be married to the Igwe. And be in her position as a lolo. Mother. Mother, you're not serious. I am. Very, very serious. So, what happened? It was the season when the Igwe, now, then a prince, was to take a maiden for a wife from this kingdom, according to our customs and traditions. I and the Lola were the most beautiful maiden. Then, we were always together, always together. Didi. On this fateful day, we were on our way to the stream when the Igwe now accosted us. He called on me, me. Do you know what? She ran immediately to him. When it was very, very glaring that I was the person, the prince was calling then. So, what They happened? spoke. They spoke. And then, the prince gave her an appointment to see his parents. Yes. Really? Yes. When she came back, I asked her, why did she do what she did? Do you know what she said? She told me to my face that the palace is not meant for me. That I have no business in that palace. She didn't stop there. She said not even my fifth generation will go into that palace. <sighs> oh, wait. And did he? Now that God wants to give to me what she mischievously took away from me, Mba, she won't allow it because of pride. People are indeed mischievous. You mean she is angry with me because, because your daughter wants to take what she took from you mischievously? But do you know what? No man can take away the destiny of another man. It's not possible. It is not. My dear, this is my time. This is my time. 
not even Lolo can stop it. I am very, very, very sure of it. So don't cry, my dear. Wipe your tears, oh? Nothing will stop you. Don't cry. Don't shed these tears. Please. You know? Eh? Just be rest assured. Our God is what? Is alive. It is now our portion. She's my destiny. I'm her destiny. It's very possible that woman is behind all this. But like mother said, if the palace is truly my destiny, she can't stop it. I'm just asking. I just met with. I just want you. Going to school. It's okay. to go home. It's okay. I tell you exactly why you don't want to go to school. If I go to school, my class may so bad me, and it makes me feel so sad. I understand, okay? That's why you have to show them that you are a winner. Don't allow that to get you. Okay? Put a smile on your face. Now I know why she really wanted me to go abroad and study. Just so she could destroy our relationship. But thank God for the power of destiny. I believe you. I do. Your mother doesn't want me to be the next queen. Honestly, I don't know why. I do. You do? So that's our son's school. Yes. Oh. I can't believe this. This is an error. A very big error. In a prince, a royal blood, someone who should live in affluence, suffering like this. My own son. This will end today. 
My love, please go in there, get our son. He's going to the palace with me right now. We we have to wait. No, no, no. I will not wait a second longer. Please, please, let's not argue over this. As for you and your sister, my eyes are on you guys right now. Believe me, your problems are over. Your problems are my problems and I'll continue to take care of everything until this whole issue is sorted out and we get married officially. So please, I'm waiting. Go in there again, our son. Yes, Your Highness. I have the right to either approve or disapprove of my future daughter-in-law. Don't just disapprove of a girl for no just cause. You have to have reasons for rejecting her. And I've been asking you to show me reasons and you are yet to say anything. I know the reason, Father. Yes, I do. And I'm going to shock you with it right now. Omalicha, you know nothing. You listen to me. Father. Yes, sir. Can you remember the day you met mother for the very first time, many years ago? Yes, she was with her friend. Good. You called her friend, but she played a smart one. How did you know about that? Because the girl in question, who mother does not want to see in this palace, is the daughter of that friend of hers, she mischievously took her place. Julian, after taking your friend's position, you still do not allow her daughter to take back what you took from her mother. You are evil. You will be soon. Father, with me here is my son. Your grandson, Father. A prince. A royal blood. Living in a dungeon. All because of mother's selfish and evil desires. So she has a son for you? Yes, father. How are you even sure that this boy is your son? He is my son. My flesh and blood. This is truly my grandson. Take a look at him. Just a replica of my son. It's the same blood that runs in all of us. And right here, I am terminating that marriage arrangement between the prince and Annabelle. What? It will no longer hold. Thank you, Father. The true marriage is between the prince and the mother of this boy. Thank you, Father. Nonsense. Rubbish! I don't want you. I said, no, come drag you. Abongi bujukwe, Abongi muwa. Annabelle, you can't continue like this. You just have to put yourself together. <laughs> I was on my own. I didn't ask anybody to come and marry me. <laughs> the queen sent for me and told me that she wants me to marry. Her son, the prince, once he comes back from this state. I, I, I didn't want to marry him, oh. I didn't agree before. And then, she was calling me every now and then. And now, she doesn't want to see me. She doesn't take my calls anymore. They have succeeded in spoiling my image in this village. <laughs> it's okay. I understand everything. I do. No, you don't. If you do, you won't tell me to stop crying. You will tell me to cry and cry. The pain is so unbearable for me. It's okay. <laughs> My daughter, you're still crying. You're still crying. Stop crying. It's been three days since the police made a public show of shame of me and my kinsmen. And I've been expecting the Igwe to call me for a discussion, which he has not done. I'm 
tired of waiting. My daughter, stop crying. Stop crying. You are the daughter of a lion. And by extension, you are a lioness. Ma'am. Eh? It runs in the family. It's in the family trait. We don't give room for weaknesses. The prince, that prince, must complete what he started. Certainly. You don't cry again. You come back. He will marry you. Come back. He will come back. Stop. She has not stopped crying. Chai. Do you know that Annabelle have not eaten since that day? Hey. She has not tested any food. Now wow. Honestly, I feel for her. I wish I can come around and share in her pain. Yes, I, I don't know, but even if I try it, she would definitely misunderstand me. She would think I've come to mock her. Go to where? Eh? If you know what is good for you, you better remain in this your parents' house. Because. If you go there, they will even think that you are the one behind a heel fate. Huh. I'm not going again, no. Let me just stay in my father's house. But wait, so what is Nze Gabe able saying about this whole <laughs> hmm, You want to know? Hey, that one. He said that the prince must come and complete what he started. Complete what? Mm -hmm. What is the Eh? Ha ha ha. Another error. Another error. What is wrong? Marriage is not by force now. Marriage or force. Go and tell them yourself. These people are about to make another force mistake. Oh. Tell them. Tell them. Wow. Tell who? I beg, I beg, I beg. I'm not your, your family member. Ha. <laughs> I'm family member. I'm not their family member. Don't even tell. <laughs> In fact, I'm going. Igwe. Hey, there leaves. A very patient deer that normally drinks from the bank of the river. A big elephant came and advised it to go to the center of the river. According to the elephant, the water at the center of the river is sweeter than the one at the bank of the river. The deer replied the elephant that it prefers to drink from the bank of the river because it lacks the capability of accessing the middle of the river. Then the big elephant suggested and offered to take the deer to the middle of the river to drink from the so-called sweet water. Right at the middle of the river, the elephant withdrew itself, leaving the deer to grapple between life and death. Now tell me, Igwe, can the deer learn how to swim at old age? If I pretend that I don't understand your riddle, then I have made myself the greatest liar of our time. Good. Igwe, it's been three days since your son, the prince, displayed that show of shame against my family, right? In the eyes of all the community, I am yet to hear anything from you, not the queen. Igwe. Zegev. Igwe. You are a wise man. Thank you. An elder with understanding. The circumstances surrounding the marriage between my son and your daughter are complicated ones that require the wisdom of the ancient to handle. Igwe. My problem now is where is that complication coming from? I will tell you. 
I'm only years ago. My son had a girl he wanted to marry, who already had a son for him. But the queen doesn't want him to marry that girl. So she planned and aborted that relationship. Now that my son has found out that the girl in question is still alive and that his son is with her, he can't continue to live a lie. So, the prince marrying my daughter now is living a lie. Ekwa? Exactly. Igwe. The elephant did what it did to the deer because it felt it is mightier and stronger than the deer. But what we must know is that there is the God of justice. What goes around, comes around. And in this case, justice must prevail. Igwe, I beg to take my leave. have to be considerate here. What is there to consider? Prince Omanichar's relationship with that girl terminated over five years ago. Nobody was hurt because the relationship was a secret affair. But Annabelle, her marriage with my son was made public. Everybody in this kingdom attended their traditional wedding. My king, my husband, if their marriage is cancelled at this point, the family, the girl, with what face is she supposed to walk around this kingdom? My husband, please, I beg you. Have everything. Please. Have you also thought about the happiness of your son? Oh, yes. <laughs> Annabelle is a good girl. With time, my son will love me and appreciate my choice of a woman for him. And we forget about that girl. Trust me. And what happens to the son she already had for him? I mean, for us. Well, a DNA will have to confirm. I do it. not need any DNA to identify my blood. How many times do I need to tell you that?
Okay. My palace. And it's also your palace. Okay? Feel free. Don't be afraid of anybody. Eat anything you want. Do anything you want. This is your palace. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Ready to go inside. Good day, Your Majesty. Good day, Your Highness. You're welcome, my daughter. <laughs> Sit down. Thank you. I have heard all that transpired between you and my son. I have also seen my grandson. He is truly my blood. You are most welcome. I will give you my word. You are going to be the next queen of this kingdom. <laughs> Thank you, Father. You're welcome, sir. May your days be long. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome, my daughter. I said it before, make yourself comfortable, okay? As comfortable as you want to be. This whole palace belongs to you. Don't let anybody scare you. I'm here. Okay? Okay. Alright. Um, next, I will get you food straight from the king's kitchen. <laughs> Thank you, but... <clears throat> I'm here to see my son and mom Juko. Where is he? Don't worry about the boy. It's fine. I told them to go register him in a school today. A very good school. So that's what they've gone to do. They went out with him. They'll soon be back. You sure they'll come back today? Of course. The school is just around the corner. They'll come back today. Okay. But I need to see my son <laughs> every day. I know. I also want to see him every second of the day. <laughs> and, and that's what's going to happen because he'll be living here with us, both of us in the palace. Okay? Okay. Good. But that's not the point now. There's something more important. We need to talk about our wedding. When are we getting married? Um. You, I'll always be there for you. I'm not going anywhere. I won't marry anyone else but you. I'll be there for you and I'll make happiness available for the rest of your life. Be calm. <laughs> 